Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some paint to this. Okay, so I'm going to go here, right click, and I want to paint Dynamask. Okay, actually, no, I want to add a paint layer, sorry. So I'm just going to click Add Color Paint Layer. Here it goes. Do, 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 do. There we go. Okay, so now I've got this paint layer here. Okay, and the good thing about paint layer, obviously, is I can paint. So if I want to paint on the layer, I can. Right. Let's go into do that. There we go. Just get it top down. And try not to crash my system. Oh, nearly did. There we go. Entering painter. There we go. So we're now in painter mode, you see. Which means I can now paint on my object using this. Now, uh, let's see. Colours can I use? There's a nice yellow there, or green, I don't know what it is. See, I can paint straight onto my model with it. I'm just going to erase that. Okay. And let me see, I want. If I just click here, you'll see we've got all sorts of nice things like decals. Beautiful. So what I could do is I could find one that I like, maybe that. Then I can just paint it straight on. So I'll just use the up and down brackets, okay, and just paint it on like that. And you'll notice you're not seeing anything because I've not used the paint tool by mistake. There we go. So clunk there. That's painted on it. Um, what else could I put on it? Uh, cracks, damage, there's loads of stuff up here, it's brilliant. Decay, dirt, drops, fabrics, hair and fur, you get so much stuff with this now. Let's see what we got. Symbols, I like symbols. Uh, there, this radioactive sign, that looks good. Let's click outside it, and then I just need to put it in the middle. Okay, done. And now I just need to exit paint mode. Like that. Give it a minute. Done. Right, now you can see, obviously, that the nice fresh paint on the top is unharassed by the light surface scratches so much, although it has picked up all the various damage. Now what I can do is I can chip away at this to make it look a little bit more crappy. So let me go back into this and use my paint tool. There we go. So I'm now in paint tool again. And I'm gonna to go to my delete. Give me a second here. But I'm not going to delete I don't think at full strength. So have I got this on? Yeah I have. Right so I'm gonna go over here turn my opacity down and the good thing is that it means I can like delete stuff slightly okay so don't worry about that by the way I'm gonna fix that in a second I'm going to just see what we've got over here grunge grunge is good we like grunge I'm probably gonna use kind of one or two patterns tops let's try that one yep that will do Okay, and I'm just going to increase the amount of that, and then increase my brush size. And just remove more and more stuff as I come along. Like that. And then, let's see, I don't want grain or hair or fur. It's experimental. Ooh, interesting. Dirt. Damage. Look at them all. Beautiful. Cracks. Oh. 
so nice. I don't have any favourites really, so there we go, that one, that's a good one, look at that. I love grainy brush. Okay, so let's just, again, messing about here having fun just putting some damage into the box there okay so just remember I'm not trying to make it a work of art I just want it to look okay there we go that worked quite nicely let's just uh, let it bake in the colour map or whatever and you can see now it's on the top of the box there. Lovely. Okay. Yeah, I think that's worked okay for me. All right, now we're going to export it into um, Unreal Engine. So I'm going to press the Exporter button. Okay, now I'll probably not work with this again, so I don't need to save afterwards. And I'm going to set my path. Now then, my, my path's here, see that, where well, it says strong box, it'll automatically generate it based on the folder it's in, but I just want to make sure, because it's got this habit where it'll kind of set it off to the old place that you set things up, so I want to make sure it's right. My export target is Unreal Engine 4, and I'm going to export all materials. Done. Okay, now I can close this, because I know it'll have done the job properly. Pardon me teeny weeny bit gassy. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this and open Unreal Engine. Hi there, how are you? Okay, so what I've done is, <laughs> I'm saying hi there, how are you? You've literally been gone for like less than a second. You didn't notice the difference. Um, this is Unreal Engine. If you've never used it, go and download it. Um, but you'll need some time to get used to it before you do this, because I'm not going to go really fast, but I'm not going to go really, really slow. But I want to show you our asset inside here, okay? So, what I'm going to do is I am going to right click here, uh, I'm going to make a new folder, okay, and I'm going to call this Strongbox. Okay, now I'm going to show you a couple of things I do in Unreal Engine. I'm going to make some folders. So this would be mesh, right click, new folder, okay, this would be textures, which aren't the same as materials, right click, new folder, this is materials, okay. Now, I'm just going to move this out of the way. That's a player start point, just in case you were wondering. And go there. Okay, now I'm going to import, and I'm going to import my file that I created. Is that the right button? Yeah, it was. Okay, so you can see here, this is all the stuff, right? So if I go into my Strongbox folder, this is the stuff that uh, Quixel made. So I've got all my PS files here, my play PlayStation. Jesus. I really am retarded. Um, I've got my Photoshop files there. Sorry, I just forgot to take a tablet I need as well. But I've also got my FBX and I've got my four, one, two, three, four actual uh, textures I'm going to need in Unreal. Ah, lovely. Right, so I'm going to import Strongbox 01, so just open. But I'm also going to select these. So I've got Control held down. I'm selecting all of them. Open. Okay, FBX import options. I'm just going to automatically import all. It's going to auto generate collisions. That's great. It's a box. My game error about smoothing groups. Okay, no smoothing group information was found in this FBX scene. Don't care. Clear. Close. Okay, so here we go. You can see now we have our strong box, our textures, and we have an empty material. Okay, now it always creates a material for it. So I'm going to hit F2 and call it Strong Box Mat, okay, which is short for material, and that way we'll always know what it is. Okay. Now, if I just double click Strong Box, and I'm going to expand the size of my window to about there, you can see there's our Strong Box there. Okay, it's nice. It worked. You know, it's a prop, which is what we wanted. If I turn on Collision, okay. Show collision. There you go. There's our collision. 
turn that off again. Now if I double click on Strongbox, my material, okay, this is our material, and I'm just going to delete that. So I've just selected it and hit delete. Now, we can make this as complicated as we want, okay? But to be honest, for the moment, I'm just going to start simple. So I'm going to have my albedo, metallic, normal, and roughness, okay? Because we're using metallic roughness. So I drag this out to here, and I take my texture sample slot, which is the white one, and I'll just drag it into base color. You'll see this update in just a moment over here. Come oh, on, you can do it. I don't know, it used to be a lot faster than this, but you know, there we go. So there's our material, okay? Next, this is our metallic texture, okay? It's automatically named it for us so we know which one it is, which I'm going to drag to my metallic slot. This is my roughness, which I'm just going to stick next to it. I'm not doing any modifications to my actual materials. Um, if you know about Unreal Engine, I might want to put a multiply in, I might want to have some, you know, parameters that I can change and so on, but I'm not doing that at the minute. And then, probably most importantly for the game engine, is our normal map, which I plug into there. Okay, that's done. That's literally my job done. Okay, so I can click Save. Just close it down. It'll take a moment or two. There's a lot of calculating going on, and obviously I am recording in the background, so it might be a bit choppy for you, but frankly it's better than OBS, which is the devil. Okay, so you can see, like, it's pretty darn shiny. Right, now if I click on Strongbox, okay, there is our Strongbox. Just there. Okay, now, remember what I said, if it's too shiny, we can use some multipliers to change things. I wasn't really going to show you how to, but I'm going to anyway, because that's what I do, isn't it? Okay, so what I'm going to do is bring this right down because I don't need to affect how much that affects things. I'm going to press the number one and click, and again, number one and click. I'm going to press M and click here, and M and click here. Okay, so these are our multiplies. So now I'm going to feed my texture sample into here, and here, and then metallic and roughness. Okay, so they go into there. Then this, into here, and here. Now, if I click save, and give it a moment. Okay, so you can see these are mad shiny still, right? So now what we can do is we can change the level of metallic and the level of roughness inside of these. So, if I was to change this to 1 and this to 1, give it a moment. Oh, got a snuffly nose. Okay, so we can affect, obviously, the reflectance value and all sorts of other things. Just by doing some very simple changes to the value of the second figure we're throwing into the multiply box. Right. Anyway, that was some simple stuff that I've been showing you there. Um, what I'm going to do is I am going to export, well not export, I'm going to finish working on this model, yes I do, and I am going to uh, basically draw this to a close. Now, I need to hit Shift, Control and S and that will save all my assets. If they've got a star next to them, they're not saved, okay? And if I was to just right click, come on game, why don't you let me play? Oh, right, hang on. I'm, <laughs> I'm just viewing the strong box. I thought it was actually in the game engine. Boy, I'm retarded. Okay, so if I put my strong box there, right click, play from here. I can now go over and look at my strong box. It's not very well lit, I know, but it is there. 
By the way, the reason things are a bit slow is because I also have an Oculus Rift kind of recording this in the background. <laughs> I, I always forget to turn my Oculus Rift off. Um, if I want to see it a bit better, I can also stick a skylight into the scene. And let's see, content, start content, props. Let's get that table out. So we'll show it in a better light. Grab this. Uh, let's have a look. I'm just moving around the scene at this point using what I said. Uh, there we go. Right click, play from here. Okay, so there you go. That's our box. It's our strong box. Okay, I know it's not very well lit. In fact, I'll turn it around so that this side can see the light, but it's because I haven't lit the scene and I haven't baked the light or done anything. But you can see it. It's got its handles and junk. So I hope you found this interesting and or informative. Um, like I say, if there's anything you want to critique, you know where the comments are. If you want to say, I liked that, thank you. How about you make this? By all means, put it in the comments. Or come on to the Facebook to the 3D Palace or You Can Blue page or the Unreal Engine Learning page or, you know, I've got two pages really on Facebook. Above all though, I want you guys to have fun. Um, I think total in total we've worked for about one hour ten minutes if you watch all three videos and in those three videos you've made an asset that's came all the way through to Unreal Engine. I mean that's good going you know. If I just put light and only you can see, you know, it's a good asset. It's nice. Hang on. You can see the normal maps applied all sorts of dings and stuff to it which is cool. You know, it's a nice little model. Anyway, uh, this is the point where I try and persuade you to come and see, uh, come and see some more videos. But this is the first one of the new batch, so I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, let me know and I'll make more. I haven't made free or commercial tutorials in nearly three years. You know, so. It'd be quite fun to do it again, as long as people want me to. I know that, you know, a lot of you young folk can't be asked to be watching tutorials. You think that learning just comes from pressing buttons. And that's cool, you know. Those trolleys are fairly easy to stack. But for everyone else, you know, come and learn some stuff. Hang out. Have a cool time. Anyway, I'll see you later, and thanks very much for watching this video this far. Bye-bye for now.